Hey, welcome back to Wolf Den Hobbies. I'm Wolf. And welcome to Tool Tips. So today we're going to be taking a little bit of a break from painting miniatures. We're actually going to be talking about a very important tool, the airbrush. Now, I'm not going to dive into how to completely tear it down and clean it and all that stuff. Today we're actually going to talk about color transitions. And what I mean by color transitions is going from one color, dumping your pot, and going on to the next color. And by doing this, you can switch colors fast and easy for those project deadlines you wanna meet. Now there's a bunch of people that do this in different ways and shapes and forms. I'm gonna show you my way. Today we're gonna to be putting through a primer, two different types of acrylics, and an ink. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. We're also gonna be using my homebrew, fancy Wolf Den Hobbies cleaning solution, which allows this step of transitioning between paints quick and easy and well painless right so without further ado let's dive into the video and i'll see you at the hobby desk all right so i have this video sped up just a little bit because it's kind of repetitive but it's repetitive because it's a process an easy process a fast process but it's a process nonetheless so the first color i use is hex legend by game air it's a real nice purple color. It's actually one of my favorite purples. Um, I'm using this piece of paper as my demonstration. It's actually looking pretty nice. I want to see if I can talk the wife into hanging it up in our art gallery. We'll see how well that goes. But basically what I'm doing is once the paint, whatever color it is that I'm using throughout this video is finished or I'm done using it for whatever particular section, I will dump out the excess either back into the pot or into my fancy cup over there. That cup is actually just a regular store brand plastic cup with some fresh water out the tap and a paper towel. And what I'm doing is, is you don't want to put excess paint through your airbrush nozzle. You want to use as little paint as possible. So you just use whatever you need and that's it. You either dump it back into your paint pot or into your disposable cup. Then I take my cleaner which is the special Krabby Patty secret formula cleaner. And I pour it directly into the pot of my airbrush. And then I use a backflow technique, which prevents the air from going out the front of the airbrush. And it goes into the pot and it mixes with whatever paint's left over. And then you dump it out. You repeat this process until all the paint's out. So the next color we're using is Cobalt Blue by Golden Fluid Acrylics. Well, it's golden and it's the fluid acrylics version. Now, so far, this is the first time I really used it, but the, this might be one of my favorite acrylic paints now. So far, it, it just, it comes out amazing, and I, I love it. But we're gonna do the same process with it. Now, it is a little bit thinner than the Game Air airbrush paint, which is nice. So as you can see, I'm going through doing the backflow technique. I'm getting my bubbles all going. Using a Q-tip, your shirt, a paper towel, your finger, you can always get the excess paint out of the paint pot too. Uh, I don't know if you guys have Hobby Lobbies around you, but they have these awesome tiny little Q-tips. And I don't think they're called Q-tips, but they're really nice. I'll show you at the end of the video and they have a nice little point on them. You can use it to clean out the pot. And most importantly, everybody that you'll ever watch will always say, make sure you keep your pot clean. Not pot, your nozzle, the front of your airbrush. Always keep the front of your airbrush, your nozzle clean. So using a soft bristle toothbrush, um, those tiny Q-tips, that all works great. All right, so now that the pot's all nice and clean, we're gonna dive into our next color, which is going to be our red ink. Red inks are really fun to use, especially if you do something like zenithal highlighting. And zenithal highlighting really comes in handy when you want to play on the shadows of a miniature. You start off with like a black undercoat, you go to gray, and then you go to white, each at a different level of height. So you do the gray at like a 45 degree angle, and then you do your white directly over top. And this way it's going to give you a nice, basically a grayscale gradient over your miniature. So with the pot clean, we're gonna jump into our final color, which is Surface Primer by Vallejo. German Panzer Gray. This has become one of my favorite primer colors. 
it's 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 an amazing undercoat i absolutely love it i know i say this a lot about the paints i brought up tonight but you know it's it's a great color so you got to give credit where credit's due so we sprayed everything out onto the paper everything's done we dumped the excess into our cup and now we're doing the backflow technique on this as well and dumping out until it's clean and that's really all that's to it and this allows you to transition from color to color almost flawlessly in a matter of seconds as you can see in the video yes it's sped up a little bit so it seems like it's going a little bit faster but Honestly, it, it doesn't take long and it allows you to get a lot of stuff done in a short amount of time. And the great thing is, is since I've been using this technique, I really rarely ever have nozzle clocks. So it's pretty awesome. With that being said, that uh, wraps this video up. So I will see you over at the hobby desk. Hey, welcome back. So, transitioning colors to your airbrush seems pretty easy, right? It's not too bad. You know, since I've been using this technique, I really haven't had any issues with my tip clogging up. It's actually going pretty smooth. So, but, like I was saying, these are the cotton swaps. Nice, fine tip, great for washes, uh, cleaning out your airbrush even. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. See you at the hobby.